Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is gonna be a video about my current sneaker collection. Um, I like to say, first of all, it's not crazy. It's not one of those YouTuber $100,000, you know, uh, collections, but you know, I'm slowly growing it, slowly uh, getting kind of into the the full, whatever, sneakerhead, whatever do they say, uh, thing. But I think it's a pretty solid collection right now. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Also, before I start, I wanted to talk about uh, this box logo because as you know if you saw my uh, unboxing video at first I wasn't gonna keep it um, but then you know it was just sitting there and uh, I decided I had this supreme hoodie that I wore like three times so I'm gonna sell that um, so I can keep this you know so I won't feel bad about like losing the money I spent on this Ava go into your room I can hear every little <clears throat> this is Ava, Marzia. Mmm. What do you want to be known as, Marzia? Ava, Marzia. Oh gosh. Bruh. I'm not gonna keep this in. And then we gave you some advice. I'm gonna blow this out, like blur out your face. A shocker, a devotee, and everything will be all right, all the time. I think. <clears throat> oh, like a chicken, she runs. And yeah, the other thing I want to talk about is, <clears throat> you can see this blue light coming down. I can change that. Alexa, change the lights to red. Okay. Um, anyways, yes. Um, I got new LED lights in my room. Um, because I'm trying to live up to that Gen Z, you know, Gen Z norm. Um... Anyways, yeah, so today's gonna be a sneaker collection video, um, yeah, let's get right into it. As you can see right here, I have this very interesting, kind of messy, uh, display of my shoes. I don't have many, so I have... Well, many to some people, but not to sneakerheads. I have six that I actually try to keep in like good condition, basically. And then I have one pair that I got for like four bucks at a thrift store. So that one I kind of, you know, I use every day to just kind of do anything in. So I guess I'll just start from like least favorite to favorite or something. So I'll start with these Vans Era Garden Floral shoes. So. Here. I think that these shoes are actually really interesting because they're they're so like I, I don't see a lot of people wearing these kind of vans, um, like this kind of graphic. Um, but actually, I got these. I didn't actually buy these. I got these because uh, my sister um, ordered these for herself in hoping to get a women's size and order them in a men's size so you know I found them just like sitting there because she wasn't didn't know what to do with them so I claimed them um and they actually fit me perfectly right now so I think these are really cool not my favorite shoe that's why they're going first but still pretty cool uh this is what the vans look like on feet um pretty like simple but you know still a pretty interesting look compared to some of the other plain looking vans i've seen including the ones i have to be honest um 
But yeah, I think they're they're pretty interesting with like the flower design. The next shoe that I'm gonna cover is my Vans Comfy Kush Old School. I don't actually know if that's the name, um, but they're just kind of like classic Vans, you know, the classic silhouette and stuff. I really like these because they're just so iconic, you know, like um, they're, you know, the classic Vans silhouette. That's why they're the old schools. Um, but these ones have that like comfy cush insole that's kind of like memory foam, but not quite as good. Um, but like, they're just so timeless and they're a shoe that I, I don't want to like use as like a beater shoe, but I'm still not too afraid of walking in. So, <laughs> um, that's why I love these so much. You know, they're just so, you know, so iconic looking like on feet. Um, yeah. This is what the Vans Comfy Kush old schools look like on feet. These, I think, just look like a very like California type of shoe, you know, like black and white classic Vans, you know, pretty comfortable with that insole. Um, and they, I think they just go well with any outfit, to be honest. Okay, the next shoe I'm gonna cover is my most recent pickup, which is these. Whoa, my entire thing is falling here. These Air Force One High Gore-Tex boots. These things are actually crazy looking. I, I've always wanted like a pair of like kind of chunky boots, but not with like, not when they look like disproportional, disproportional, unproportional, something like that. Um, so I just wanted something that Obviously, I live in Canada, as people know, so I can't really. I went without winter boots for a while, which obviously wasn't uh, ideal in these conditions. So I bought these on the sneakers app. Um, and yeah, I mean, they good looking, good boots since they're Gore-Tex, you know. I think Gore-Tex is like, 80 times like the individual fibers are like 80 times smaller than a water droplet or something so totally waterproof out of the box and you know they're just super like industrial looking and yeah i thought this was super cool to have and i think that having boots like kind of this style are kind of like an essential item to have in a collection here's what the air force one high gore-tex boots look like on feet as you can see they're massive like they weigh so much each but i mean in snow these things are really really great um and surprisingly comfortable they kind of like wrap around your foot um and you know air force one highs are actually surprisingly nice so i actually really really like these i think i'll keep these for a long time um and once they're really like worn in i think it'll be even more comfortable and really great to just keep in winter every year pretty much so now we're in the area of my three hype shoes. Um, and these are obviously my favorite because they're just the most unique. Um, so I'm gonna start with the Yeezy 350 V2 Zions. So I kind of have mixed feelings about Yeezys because I think that at the beginning of their like kind of reign, they were really, you know, interesting and new and, you know, such a different looking shoe. Um, and then Kanye made like 400 different variations of the same silhouette. Um, and although I did like the beginnings, like the, the turtle doves, that kind of stuff, obviously for a shoe that I didn't, that it wasn't one of my favorite shoes in the world, I wouldn't pay above a certain amount for that kind of silhouette. So um, I actually won these off the um, Adidas app for retail. Um, and when they got to my house, I was planning on selling them. But as you know, if you check the Zion market, first of all, they're not going for that much above retail. So I saw them in person and I got them in my size on the raffle. So I kept them um, and these were great like i these have been so good to me like they're so comfortable the most comfortable shoe i've ever had um fit me perfectly um yeah they're just they're just a great 
shoe for just like, you know, just wearing around anywhere. Um, but as you can see, I haven't, these aren't in bad condition, but I've definitely worn them quite a bit since I've gotten them. And I'm planning on like not, not uh, beating these up, but wearing these, you know, wearing, wearing them until they're done because uh, they're a great shoe, you know, they're just so comfortable, so timeless. This is what the Yeezy 350 V2 Zions look like on Fee. I think they're just, they, they are so perfectly, just perfect. They're so comfortable and they're such like nice colors. Well, not really color shades, I guess, that they just go with pretty much anything as well. Um, but really what I love about these is like the comfort, like they're literally unmatched in any other shoe in terms of comfort, like ever, I think. So yeah, these are really, really great shoe. So now we're in like the big time shoes in my collection. So here we have the Nike Dunk Low SP Plums from the Ugly Duckling pack. This shoe is so nice. Like this was really my dream, one of my dream shoes. Right when I like started collecting, like if I had this, this was, you know, they're just so beautiful and the suede on them. Um, it's my first completely suede shoe as well. Um, and like, they're just so amazing. To save some money, I actually bought these off of Grail, um, like really lightly used, it said. And honestly, these could pass as dead stock. The only thing that like even suggests that they're lightly used is that like the inside has some, um, was tape on there that I put in there, but like, have some like lint and stuff on the inside. But other than that, these are totally perfect. And I know these were in a pack uh, with the ceramics and the veneers, uh, the Ugly Duckling pack. And honestly, at some point I'm thinking, I'd really like to get the two other ones because just the suede, the colors, they're so unique, they're so beautiful. Um, and I think having all three would be so cool. Here's what the Nike Dunk Low SP Plums look like on feet. Um, I think these look really good because when you see them like in a video, they seem like they're really like the colors are too much, but in person with an outfit, these just look really clean. And now this is my grail shoe as a lot of people say. So I have, this is the Air Force One, oh, let me get that open. Air Force One, uh, Travis Scott Cactus Jack. This shoe, in my opinion, is just absolutely one of the best shoes that's ever been made, like ever, because it's just so unique. Like there's like eight different materials on here, corduroy, suede, like it's just crazy. There's like a buckle on the back. Um, even the tongue has like amazing detail on it. And man, like the only thing that I didn't like about these is that they came with the lace shroud or whatever, the lace cover on them. Um, and at first I thought I couldn't take it off, so I was kind of worried, but I ended up just watching a video and I took off the the cover and I just put on the white laces instead of the, uh, I think it was the purple laces. And now these things are just, they're just crazy. Like they're, they're just so crazy. Like I can't believe I have these. and. There's so much, so much detail on them. Like, there's even that like mint green stitching. Um, like, it's just unbelievable. And yeah, I think that these are on a level with a lot of those shoes up there in terms of design, because I think that these are almost unsurpassed in their just uniqueness. I don't know if that's a word. And just their, their design is just unbelievable. Like it's, I can't believe it. Here's what the Air Force One, uh, Travis Scott or Cactus Jacks uh, look like on feet. I think they're really interesting looking, like in a good way. Um, because they're just such an interesting take on Air Force Ones that like, this is one of the best Air Force Ones of all time in my opinion, uh, just because of the materials, the design, the colors, all of it just comes together to make a really crazy shoe. I also think it's good to mention that in my 
two like kind of grail shoes, my uh, Dunk Plums and these uh, Travis Scott Air Force Ones. I actually bought some, let me just grab these, some like sneak insole uh, sneaker shields off of Amazon. Uh, they just look like this. Um, and they work really well. Like I'll show a video of like me stepping in one without one. Maybe not all the way, try not to crease it, but these are like really, really good. And they just slide in really easy, pinch them, they go in. Um, just like that. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out on Amazon. Uh, yeah. Now, um, I know for a fact that I, uh, might and probably will take a little bit of hate for this, but I don't have any Jordans at all in my collection. What? Yes. I'm planning on, um, buying some pretty soon. Um, but, you know... I mean, in 2021, I know there's the, um, the Hyper Royals releasing, and I forget what they're called. They look like the Obsidian ones, but better. Um, if I'm able to get a pair of those, that's awesome. Those are some of my favorite upcoming shoes. Um, and if not, I might have to pay resale. Like, those are, those are really worth it, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this collection's pretty good. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, thank you for watching this video, um, I'll be uploading more soon, I think I'm gonna upload a Supreme sticker collection, um, very soon, so let me know if you want that, any other video suggestions, leave them down below, I'm happy to, uh, take a look at them, and yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.